Hello everyone, welcome to module 13 of NA10's basic course which is 0 to 1. Today we are talking about the set node and what it is, what it does, how we can use it in multiple situations and yeah, so let's directly dive into it. So the set node lets you create, rename or edit fields in your data, helps shape data for the next node in your workflow. You can see this diagram for an example that you received an input data as name john you can use a set node to add another object into that workflow which is greeting and you can put in a value inside that object which is hello so let me go back to any interface to show you how the set node looks and how would this work like so yeah so we can simply start off by a chat trigger what i'm trying to show you is set we can keep edit field set and here you will see there is an option of manual mapping in the mode and here we can set any sort of data we can simply click on this we can click add field and what i want to put is output and we can do greeting and the moment that i execute this step what you would see is output is greetings now we have this variable in a dynamic variable and we can use this particular variable into any place where we want to set up our workflow now let me show you a couple of examples of uh, set node in real life where we can use them we can use them to format phone numbers if let's say there is a standard practice that we are following in a database that the numbers need to be in this particular format which is triple five should be in bracket the first three digits in bracket then one two three four five six seven we can do that using the set node then if let's say there is some unnecessary data you want to remove it you want to clean it you can do that uh, you can use it to create some date now kind of dynamic keywords because set node also has this expression option so we can simply click on expression we can type a json expression here which gives the current date and time we can type in date uh, dot now and a function and this would bring us back to date spelling date now and yeah that's it uh, that then you can take this put this into chai gpt you can whatever format you want to convert it into you can put that and now if you'll execute this step what you will see is this output would contain the current date and time that you wanted to put there so let's say you want to check and you want to keep a tab of when this workflow was executed or whenever a new lead was updated and the time is what you need exactly so you can put in a set node inside the workflow which can be not dynamically put into the next node which is your database your google sheets your google doc whatever you want to put it into and there every time the workflow runs this date dot now would be for that very particular moment and yeah that is how you can track at what time was that flow triggered so yeah so this was it about the set node see you in the next video